From historic ruins to an underground site with JFK supplies, explore a mesmerizing journey through time and secrecy in the heart of the Grand Canyon. Find out the Grand Canyon's hidden stories, ancient footprints, giant sloths, and mysterious monsters. Alan Krill stumbled upon a boulder decorated with what appeared to be ancient footprints. Capturing the intriguing find, Krill shared the images with Stephen Rowland, who recognized them as fossilized leftovers of life dating back a staggering 313 million years, an era potentially belonging to an amniot, a creature known for laying eggs with hard shells. The well-preserved footprint, separate from the mana catcher, offered scientists insights into the past. Further exploration revealed two sets of footprints, estimated to be 330 million years old, with Roland's observations revealing two reptiles, one around a foot long, showing the unique lateral sequence walking pattern. Despite the potential argument, these findings shed light on the early use of such steps in vertebrate history, adding to the fascinating collection of discoveries within the Grand Canyon, where caves have protected a variety of life, from sloth poop to mummified bats over the years. In the depths of the canyon, scientists fell upon an earthwork cave that once sheltered a colossal 500-pound Chester ground sloth, a species long destroyed for over 10,000 years. Interestingly, the fertilizer left behind by this ancient creature became a valuable treasure for researchers. By employing radiocarbon dating, scientists could delve into laziness's dietary habits, opening details about the plants that thrived in the surrounding area. This discovery not not only offered a glimpse into the life of a long-gone giant, but also provided valuable insights into the prehistoric ecosystem of the canyon. Exploring the rich history of the Grand Canyon reveals a story of change and challenges. The once mighty Colorado River, created in the Rocky Mountains, is facing the threat of drying up, putting the unique ecosystem of the Grand Canyon at risk. Grand Canyon condors, once thriving on now extinct animals, face potential danger. The river, which wanders through waterfalls, deserts, and canyons, eventually flowing into the Gulf of California, is showing signs of decline. Scientists warn that without prompt interference, the Colorado River could soon run dry. Environmentalists point to blocking and redirecting as factors contributing to its reduced health. While the river still flows through the Grand Canyon, the water level has noticeably dropped, credited to dams and river diversion. Those eager for a whitewater rafting adventure in the Grand Canyon are advised to grab the opportunity before further changes occur. The Grand Canyon holds suggestions of uranium, but the radiation levels are low, assuring the safety of visitors. However, the presence of old mines poses potential dangers, particularly to the residents. Mining activity surged during the uranium craze, leading to a ban on uranium mining on a million acres around the Grand Canyon for two decades. Among the communities affected are the Havasupai tribe, ancient inhabitants of the Grand Canyon region. Initially residing in a vast area stretching from Bill Williams Mountain to the Little Colorado River, the tribe faced displacement when uranium mining gained momentum. The Havasupai, who had resided on the Colorado Plateau, encountered European explorers in the late 1800s, eventually settling in Havasu Canyon after being compelled to leave by the National Park Service. In 1975, the government allocated 185,000 acres of land with in the canyon and along the rim to the Supai tribe. Today, their livelihood is continued through farming, tourism, and various job opportunities. Located just three miles west of Desert Viewpoint, the Tucson Ruins near the Grand Canyon's eastern entrance comprise a fascinating archaeological site and a museum. These remnants shed light on over 12,000 years of human habitation in the Grand Canyon area. The Tucson Ruins Museum stands as comprehensive evidence of the rich history of the region. In addition to the ruins, exhibits near the Old Village provide visitors with valuable insights into the archaeological significance of the site. 
On a different note, the Grand Canyon has its share of mysteries, one being the Mogollon Monster. First reported in 1903 by I.W. Stevens, this indefinable creature is described as a seven-foot-tall being with black or reddish hair and a worrying lack of facial features, chest, feet, or hands. With huge, smelly feet leaving tracks about 22 inches long, the Mogollon Monster is supposed to wander the Grand Canyon area. Hikers and campers share stories of its nighttime visits, where it takes care of things on its own, accompanied by creepy sounds like long whistles and wood knocking resounding through the woods. Nestled above ground, the Caverns Motel oversees and operates a unique underground suite within the Grand Canyon Caves. This underground lodging holds a piece of history, hosting the emergency supplies of John F. Kennedy that remain remarkably fresh and usable even after four decades. Situated 220 feet below ground, the suite boasts modern comforts like a record player and running water. For those seeking an extraordinary experience, this historical reserve can be rented for $900 a night, offering a glimpse into an unusual chapter of the Grand Canyon's past. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, click the like and the bell buttons. We'll have another video for you soon. Take care until then.